Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys noticed, I have a very new intro that I hope you guys like. I'm working on this channel nonstop. And um, yeah, I'm excited for all the videos to come. And if you guys don't know, we have moved. So number one, I am sorry for the echo. Number two, I'm sorry for the mess behind me, but it's okay guys, we're working on it. This is my new room and Things are being shoveled and we're still moving and we still gotta do paint and I'm trading out the doors for a mirror and I'm getting new furniture and it's from Amazon. So if you guys know, you know, Amazon's moving a little slow. So we're getting our packages a little late, but it's okay. Um, so I'm just rearranging my room. I'm gonna do new artwork. Like everything in this room is changing. So just kind of bear with me on that, but yeah, I'm very excited to be back in, in my new room and I can't wait till it's all done. I have so, so many videos, so many videos, but let's get back on topic of this video and I have been getting a lot of like requests in my Instagram and just friends from work and that just kind of want to know my hair care routine. I uh, let's let's just start from the top. Okay, so if you are interested then stay tuned Okay, so let's just get to it um, right now. I have only one um, Product I guess in my hair. I've been doing this whole new um, No heat for quite a while now. I want to say at least a few months if I'm feeling like I really want to do my hair, then I'll go ahead and I'll curl my hair with a straightener. But lately these waves are all heatless. So I just, it's a part of my hair care routine. So all I use are is the L'Oreal L5 Dream Lengths conditioner, shampoo, and I also use the L'Oreal L5 Dream Lengths No Haircut Cream Leave-In. Uh, this is the leave-in conditioner. It has fine castor oil vitamins, it helps seal split ends and reduce breakage. So that's one thing that I had really, I guess, I, my ends were pretty damaged. Um, but lately, since I've been using this, it's been it's been helping. My hair is so long; it's pretty much to the top of my bum. Um, it's getting longer. But I have to admit, I think pregnancy boosted my long hair because when I was pregnant, it was pretty much right right here. But after pregnancy, even a few months, when you go through that whole hair loss stage, which was horrible. Uh, my hair grew and grew and grew and I never stopped taking my prenatals. I take these every day, which is probably like my main holy grail. Um, it's just, it's, uh, it's, it's magic. I just, it helps my hair grow. It helps it become shiny. It helps my nails grow. I, I just, I always take these and I hate, I hate taking pills. So I take the prenatal gummies and I mean, they don't taste great, but I'd rather chew on a gummy than take a pill. So these are pretty much my holy grail. And then for, I wanna say, as soon as this product came out, which um, I wanna say like maybe three months now, I've strictly been using this and I've always used L'Oreal products. And I just, I love L'Oreal. They've been so good to my hair and it helps it with the length and the damage. And I've, I've always loved these products. So this, I think I'm pretty sure it's working. Obviously my hair is so long. Um, I'm, it's, I like that, that it has castor oil. I like how it makes my hair feel in the shower. Um, I don't know if you guys had conditioner or shampoo or you use it in the shower and even though it's wet, it immediately feels drying. And I, I don't like those. <laughs> and I am obsessed with my hair. Like to me, like, you know, we all have those conceited moments. My hair is my holy grail. Like <laughs> my hair is my everything. So I take really good care of my hair. So, but yeah, that's pretty much all I use is just bam, 
bag number two and the the cream in conditioner and like I said my um, prenatals so this is my hair routine in the shower grab your shampoo pour however much you need I kind of know how much I need to pour the length of my hair and what's really important is the suds doesn't matter. Having so much soap and suds actually doesn't mean anything when you wash your hair. And so if your hair is not full of suds and bubbly, it's cool. Grab the conditioner and add that to your hair however much you need. I always put a little extra conditioner because I just do it that way. And when you put it in your hair, you don't want to go all crazy and scratch your scalp because you are damaging your hair follicles, you're tangling your hair, you just want to do a few good strokes and just lather it through your hair. Also you want to use lukewarm water when you're washing your hair. Now this is my trick of what I do, I always wrap my hair in a bun and I let the conditioner sit there for about five to ten minutes while I wash the rest of my body. So just put everything up and put it in a nice cute little bun and I'll see you later. When you get out of the shower, use a 100% cotton shirt. Now, I know this is weird and a lot of people don't know about it, but if you use a towel, it's very damaging to your hair because of how rough it is. If you use a 100% cotton t-shirt, it doesn't damage your hair and you want to pat your hair. You don't want to, um, you know, make that motion with when you dry your hair with a towel. Just put it in the cotton t-shirt, roll it up, and let it dry in there while you go get dressed. Now, when you come back and you're all dressed, grab your hair cream or, you know, this is the hair cream that I use. I always put enough for my hair and then you just want to work that in your hair gently. Gently and gentle and gentliest are the words you want to remember when you're doing anything with your hair. You don't want to pull at your hair. You don't want to tear your hair. You don't want to scratch the crap out of your hair when you get out of the shower because, like I said, you're damaging the follicles and just rubbing your hair, your hand through your scalp and just kind of letting it soak through that way is the best way for your product to get in your hair. And like I said, you're not damaging all the hair follicles. So just go ahead and do it to the other side and just keep adding in the product. Then when I'm done adding the product, I usually just fix my split already because when my hair dries and I don't have it in my part, it gets all frizzy and it's just kind of hard to put it in the side part that I like to have it in. So another secret that I do with my hair every night, usually after I take a shower or just usually every night in general is I braid my hair. I don't put any heat to it, I don't blow dry it, I sh straight up put it in a braid. And if you notice, I didn't brush it. I'm weird like that with my hair. I don't like brushing it as soon as I get in the shower because I always feel like I'm tearing my hair out more than anything. So you just wanna put it in a braid and I, I swear I live by the braid thing. I think that's what's also helping my hair grow. I do it every night and after every shower. So wrap the braid and when you're done you can pin your side part because my bangs are a little, they're growing out so you can put the bobby pin in or just pin them in place or you can let them 
hang loose, whatever you like, but I like to pin my hair in place. So yeah, that's all I do. I just use the shampoo, I use the conditioner, I put it in a top knot and then wash everything else. I always, always make sure I leave it in for at least a good five Maybe if I'm lucky and I get to have a long shower, then 10 minutes, I'll literally leave it in there. I won't touch it or anything. And then even if I'm done washing my body, I kind of just, you know, have a little concert in there until I'm done. And then I'll wash it out thoroughly. And then always use a cotton shirt. Now to me, uh, the towel, like a regular towel, is very damaging to your hair. So I read that a cotton, 100% cotton t-shirt is less damaging to your hair. And it's all about how you dry it. You don't want to get your towel and go, whoa, 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 like that's tearing your hair and it's ripping your hair. So the best thing to do is wrap it in a 100% cotton t-shirt and just kind of like dry it that way. But you don't want to like you know, dishevel it even more or tear at it, which is what you're doing with a normal um, rough towel. So find a, you steal your boyfriend's t-shirt like I do, or, you know, go buy a t-shirt. They're really cheap on Amazon right now since we can't, you know, go out. But make sure it's 100% cotton. And I always keep a few on handy, obviously, so when I do take showers. Um, another thing is I wash my hair about twice a week. So I don't, it's not on any certain day, it's just twice a week because um, those oils are very good for your hair and I don't use very much heat anymore unless I really want to and that's pretty much my hair care routine. I've been very lucky with it. I went from platinum, platinum blonde from my Playboy days to very black. And I actually, I use store hair dye on my hair and that will be a whole nother video if you guys want to watch it and how I dye my hair. Um, when I first transitioned from being blonde, which I have a show you. This is when I took a class with Marky Costello. So my hair was like transitioning there from a little brown to blonde. And when I really wanted to go full black, I went to go get it professionally done. So I didn't want to mess it up myself because I was a very bright blonde and I didn't want to mess it up. And so I was like, let me just go to a professional hair person. But for maintenance after that, I just do my hair myself. And I use uh, the L'Oreal Berry or something like that. But that'll be a whole nother video if you guys want to watch how I dye my hair myself this video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys get some tips to take and there's going to be a lot more videos coming about everything. I can't wait to talk about sex topics with you guys and dating topics with you guys and relationship topics with you guys. I'm very excited. My next, I have a lot lined up guys. I have a lot lined up and just stay tuned to my Instagram. If you don't know what it is, I'll link it right here. That's pretty much what I'm gonna be hinting at at my next videos and so forth from there and when I post videos. So yeah, that's about it. I'm very excited. I'm glad to be back. I miss you guys and yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that rope ahead. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you 